Welcome to the first part of the Rainbow Operation Staff Training. I'm Mira, Defense Instructor of the ROS Team. And I'm Zero, Attack Instructor. We'll guide you through the basics of operations. Movement, shooting, navigation, environment, etc. For this portion, you will act as Sledge. His unique ability will help you control your environment. Here we are. Let's see what you got, Specialist. Your health is on the bottom left. Keep an eye on it. We'll be guiding you using... ...things, like the ones in your comms display. There are two types, location pings on the left and opponent pings on the right. Maneuver your camera to follow my ping. Great. Now walk to the target zone. See that pinged area on the other side? You'll have to go around to continue your training. Too slow? Try sprinting. Fast work. Now Shoot the target. Now try while aiming down your sights. So you're better, right? Your ammo is limited. Don't waste your shots. Reload early if you have to. Waiting till the last second can leave you vulnerable. If you do run out of ammo, switch to your backup weapon. You can't always rely on your primary one. Switch them out. Try your secondary weapon on this target. Now back to your primary. See the prompt? You can climb over some barriers, including this one. Get moving to that next spot. See if you can climb that ladder. The rooms beyond had unseen targets. You'll need to lean to see around these tight corners. Go to the door and lean left, then shoot the target on the other side. Now here, get close to the window and lean... Nicely done. If you need a refresher, you can check the control layout. Coming along nicely, Specialist. Let's test your endurance. We set up an obstacle course through that door. Speed isn't everything. Stealth and precision will help you avoid detection. Check this sound meter to learn how much sound your actions make. You won't have it in the field. First, try crouching. To be a smaller target and make less noise. Now, vault over this window. Vaulting can be noisy, so stay alert. If you need to, you can go... This position can also help steady your aim and give you a situational advantage. Try it with this target. Nicely done. Your next lesson is through these obstacles. Make your way to the ping. Target's facing away from you. No sprinting. If the target hears you, you lose the element of surprise. Hold up. The target's facing away from you. If you walk up slow... Sneak up close, and you can take out the target with a melee. You accomplished the lot. Now get to that door. If you need to, run. Otherwise, keep it down. So this is a barricade. I want you to go through it. A few melee attacks should get the job done. There's a target on the other side. They're partially hidden, so aim carefully. Go for the headshot. One headshot is enough to eliminate any opponent. There is a target in the room to your right, protected by bulletproof glass. And a wooden wall next to it. You've seen these, but this one has no hold. Trick. You can shoot through this kind of surface to take out a target on the other soldier. Target is no more. You're learning to use your environment to your advantage. Good job. Not only can you shoot through breakable walls, but you can also break them to pass through if you have the right tools. Your breaching hammer should do the trick here. 
That breaching hammer is Sledge's unique ability. Every operator has their own unique ability. You should learn how they function and interact. But for now, smash that wall. The door can also be broken, but you won't be able to pass through the metal beams. Side note, check your compass. It indicates what room and floor you're in. Now to drop down, you need to find a hatch. Down, down the hatch. Your compass updates automatically when you change location. Communication between teammates is essential. The compass will display pings and help you relay your location. Apply your knowledge to break through to the next room. Ping behind the bulletproof glass. Feel free to experiment with your unique ability, melee attack, and firearm. Take a look at this target behind the bulletproof glass. You won't be able to get it with your firearm or melee attack. Time to learn about gadgets. All operators have these, but you can only carry one variety at a time. In this case, you have frag grenades. Throw one above the bulletproof glass to eliminate the target. There you go. We're almost done. Find the next hatch to go through. Time to apply your learning. Eliminate all targets. Good luck. If you need a refresher, check the control layout. Your opponent can use hatches too. Don't forget to check the ceilings for breach point. Your basic training is complete. We'll be there to guide you through the race. You might be ready for your first mission. Soon. <laughs> Siege matches are asymmetrical. There are attackers and defenders. I'll show you the ropes on how to win while attacking. Your objective as an attacker is to find and defuse one of two bombs. Or you could just eliminate all defenders. This time, you'll be Thermite. His unique ability will help you take things a step further. You'll first be deployed on the map as a drone. Let's start. Essential observation tool. Good. Your drone is small enough to go through small holes like the Your drone can propel itself into a jump if you need to. Go up and over this wall. See the target? Be aware that scanning alerts the target. They'll know someone's spying on them. You can also use location pings like the ones I've been placing to guide you. These don't alert enemies. Ping the security camera above. Nice. You'll notice contextual pings give specific intel on what you ping to your teammates, like the camera icon here. Now, ping that barbed wire over there. You can use it on empty locations, too. Ping here on top of mine. We got intel. Now it's time to find the bombs. They'll look like the image on your comms display. 
Good luck, specialist. You found them. Usually bombs are placed in adjacent rooms, as you can see here through the bulletproof glass. You'll want to place your drone somewhere safe. Thank me later. Since the shelf is high, I suggest you look up when you jump to propel yourself higher. Nice jump. You're getting there, specialist. Turn around and look at the ping I placed. Uh, looks like the target spotted your drone. Let's move on to the action phase. When the preparation phase ends, you'll be able to defuse one of the bombs. You need the diffuser for that. And right now, you don't have it in hand. You'll have to get it from the rooftop this time. You can repel on most outside walls when standing near them. Get to the rooftop. Well done. Now, pick up the diffuser over there. Without it, you're not likely to win. Before moving on, I suggest you destroy the security camera. Now we're cooking. Let's find an entry point. Pell off the ledge I just pinged. Dizzy? Try chain. All right. There's your point of it. You'd better gather some intel before breaking in. Don't want the defenders taking you by surprise. You lost your first drone, but every attacker carries a second one to use during the action phase. You should scout for intel before going in. Destroy the barricade so you can throw your drone in. Now you're free to look around, ping, scan, find some intel you can use. Looks like you stumbled on a signal disruptor. Don't worry, your drone hasn't been destroyed, just jammed. If you want it back, you'll need to pick it up. Once you enter, destroy as many defender devices as you can. Getting them out of the way makes your team's jobs easier. It's your first time. If there's no barbed wire, there's no slowdown. Easy. Now that there's no signal disruptor, you're free to pick up your drone. Safe and sound. Remember the bombs? One of them's bound to be behind this wall, since it's reinforced. Defenders will sometimes reinforce breakable surfaces to prevent breaching. Luckily for you, Thermite's unique ability is one step ahead. Open the operator guide and check out how the in theory. All right. Let's see what's on the other side. Sound familiar? Here's the bomb you found before. In Siege, it's important that you know how to improvise a path to your destination. Let's defuse this bomb. This room has a lot of lines of sight, though. You'll need some way to hide. Throw your secondary gadget, at the smoke grenade, near the bomb. If you need any tips, the operator guide is there for you. Plant the diffuser in the smoke near the bomb. The diffuser timer started. Till it expires, you have to protect the diffuser from defenders who will try to disable it. Hostiles are on the move. Put your skills to good use.
Welcome again, specialist. This is your final training before field deployment. Together, we'll look at how to win as a defender. Opposite to attackers, your goal is to defend the bombs until the timer expires, or until you eliminate all opponents. For this one, your bandit. His unique ability will help you secure your position. Let's get started, shall we? First things first, setting up your defenses is key. If you have a good setup, attackers will have a hard time making it to the bomb. Zero told you about breaching reinforcements. Now you need to put them up. Reinforcing outer walls like this places a barrier between you and the attackers. Walls between bomb sites serve a different purpose. When you have breakable walls between bombs, the best thing to do is to breach them. This creates an option for your team to freely defend both sides as needed. Now that you have an open a lot faster than going around through doors and corridors, right? Now you have a shortcut to reinforce the second bomb site. Remember to use the rotation opening to save some time. In the field, you will need it. Familiar? This was a bomb site when you were here with Zero. It's important to remember that every map has several bomb sites. Barricades can slow down attackers, and they also block off lines of sight. But remember that you don't want to block a path you'll need as a defender. As you learned before, attackers use drones to gather intel about you and your setup. Destroy any drone you see to deny them that intel. The last time you dealt with some barbed wire, you can deploy them now. They usually slow down opponents, but bandits can do something more. Set up specialist. Time to discover Bandit's unique ability, the shock wire. Open the operator guide for the details. With that, you should know how to do it. Deploy your shock wires near the pinned reinforced walls to electrify them. Attackers from breaching reinforcements. 
Now you know how to counter what you learned with Zero. You can also place your device on the barbed wires you previously deployed. Electrify the one I pinged. Here comes a drone. Fortunately, you made it impossible for it to pass unharmed. Told you. Electricity also destroys most devices. More drones are coming. Destroy them all. There can be up to five during preparation phase. So you finished setting up. Prepare yourself for the attacker's assault. Go to the ping and prone there and we'll enter action phase. In the action phase, defender observation tools will help you locate and identify attackers so you can prepare your defensive strategy. Since you're in a relative, apart from security cameras, defenders can the bulletproof cameras are a gadget that is a bit more advanced than your average security camera. They can see through smoke and they can shoot EMP bursts. Do a good job. Like drones, defender observation tools can be used to ping useful intel to your team. Ping that location. Now ping the drone you just deactivated. Great. Time to identify the attackers. Go to the observation tools and see if you can spot them all. Looks like they're there they are. They activated the diffuser. You're gonna have to stop them. Time to get into action. Eliminate all targets before the bomb can be fully diffused. Keep an eye on the timer. eliminated, but the bomb is still being defused. Until you deactivate the diffuser, they still have a chance to win. Hurry. Well done. You completed your first simulated round as a defender. You're ready for the field specialist.